Hallelujah, hallelujah. Welcome to New Destiny Christian Center. I'm going to open this up in prayer here this morning. Hallelujah. Uh, Father God, we welcome you into this place today. Father God, we just want to say thank you for everything you're doing for us in our lives, Father God. We're here to give you all the honor and the glory. Jesus name hallelujah father God we just want to thank you for all you're doing and all you're going to do in our lives father God we welcome you with open hearts and an open mind father God to know more about you and father God we ask that you continue to bless us and with all your mercy and grace father God we love you we continue to love you we want to thank you for everything that you do for us. Father God, you know what we need. Father God, you give to us what we need. And you know what we want, but you know what we need more. Yes. Father God, what we want is not always what we need. Yes, Lord. And you give us what we need, Father God. Yes, Lord. Father God, we love you and thank you. We just want to give you all the honor and the glory and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Giving honor to God. Last week, the first lady gave a great word. No compromise. So this song contains those words. No compromise. Serve us of the Lord to do his 
Well, until his kingdom is restored, we must walk hand in hand, work side by side, and keep preparing for Jesus, his birth. And keep preparing for Jesus, his birth. For Jesus, his bride. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, oh God. We just worship you, oh Lord. And we praise you, oh Father, in the name of Jesus.
for calling and drawing us, oh God, to worship you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Despite what's going on in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, to worship you, oh God, in spirit and in truth, oh Father. Thank you, oh God, in the name of Jesus for accepting, oh God, hallelujah, the purity of our hearts, oh God, in the name of Jesus, just for giving us pure hearts, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. We just thank you, oh God. We praise you, oh Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. teaching church, pastor by Pastor Patrick and Dr. Crystal Hammond in the name of Jesus. We are continually work, uh, 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 we will continue on today on the topic of who does God say I am? I know who I am in the name of Jesus. Who does God say I am? I know who I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In previous messages, we discussed how, how when God breathed our breath into mankind, that it automatically brought about a union of our of our soul or our spirit with Him, and a union of our soul or our spirit with our body. In the name of Jesus, we talked about how when Adam partook of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, that it, it brought about a spiritual separation. Hallelujah! Or a spiritual death. Meaning that we were no longer connected to God. That union with God was not there in the name of Jesus. And ultimately it brought about a, a, a physical death or a separation of our, of our soul with our body in the name of Jesus. We talked about how through the death, burial, uh, uh, and resurrection of Jesus of the Christ that those who believe in him, that there is automatically a, a, a reconciliation with God in the name of Jesus. Through his death, burial, resurrection, there is a reconciliation with God. And we were made alive spiritually because of the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. That is very significant. And we need to understand that in the name of Jesus. Understand that it has absolutely nothing to do with what we do or what we've done other than the fact that we accept Jesus the Christ as our Lord and personal Savior. Hallelujah. We talked about how spiritually, positionally, because we have accepted Jesus as our Lord, that we are sitting in the right hand, hallelujah, that we are sitting in the heavenly places. Come on now, understand, this is what the word of God says in the name of Jesus. It tells us how we are to no longer regard anyone according to the flesh, but how we are to regard everyone according to the spirit in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That's a whole topic in itself. Praise the name of the Lord. 
we talked about how uh, because of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ that we are, we ourselves are ministers of reconciliation. Meaning that what's true of Christ became true of us. We talked about how we are new creations, salt of the earth, children of God, enslaved to righteousness in the name of Jesus. And this is by, again, by nothing, absolutely nothing at all to do with what we do or don't do. That, that, and that is what is very, extremely pivotal about this, that it has absolutely nothing to do with what we do or don't do, but everything to do with what Christ already did on the cross for us. Mind you, the Bible tells that Christ took on the sins of man, hallelujah, that he died on the cross, was buried, and he rose again. And because of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, what's true of him is true of us. We have to understand that in the name of Jesus. It has nothing to do with how we feel. Hallelujah. It has nothing to do with how man perceives us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Although there, there are many, and we'll, we'll go on to them later, that talk about uh, uh, who we are specifically. Today we're going to talk about because of who we are. And I think, and, and that's what gets people mixed up with who we are versus because of who we are. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going into the book of Colossians. In the book of Colossians, the Apostle Paul, it, it, it's a letter addressed to, to, to believers, to a community of believers who was doing well. They were doing well. But they found themselves uh, challenged by non-biblical ideas, erroneous ideology, and, 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 and false uh, religious thinking that were trying to creep itself into the faith of the church. And the Apostle Paul addressed it in three different ways. He, he, he pointed them to the Messiah. We know that the Messiah is good and sufficient for them as well as for us. See, anything that we, anything that we ever face, hallelujah, hallelujah, the Messiah is sufficient for any problems that we can ever face. He then he prayed for them. And then he reminded them about the proper way to live in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And that's what we're going to be talking about today because of who we are. Hallelujah. Because of who we are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Turn to Colossians 3. Those of you who have your Bibles with you, Colossians 3, we're going to start with the first through the first fourth verse. We have it up here in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if you're there, if you don't have your Bible, just re remember it. Write it down. Read it with us in the name of Jesus. Colossians 3, verses 1 through 4. And it says, since then, you have been raised with Christ. See, there you go. Since you have been raised with Christ, set your hearts on things above where Christ is, sitting at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. For you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Again, I'm going to go back to that statement in the name of Jesus that, that I know, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that people unfortunately are having a hard time wrapping their minds around and just really understanding and, and believing and accepting. But, but, but we must accept the truth of God in his word. Praise the name of the Lord. And the truth is that because of Adam's disobedience that there became a separation or a spiritual death. We died spiritually in the name of Jesus, meaning there was a separation of our spirit with God. But because of Jesus, hallelujah, our spirits have been made alive and reconciled with God. That does mean, that, that, that's why the apostle says, since then you have been raised with Christ. Come on now. Understand that. Hallelujah. Now, while we're there, stay there. We're going to go back to, to, to Colossians. That's our main scripture. But go to Ephesians. We're going to read Ephesians 2. Ephesians 2, verses 4 through 6. Ephesians 2, verses 4 through 6. And it says, But God, who was rich in mercy, because of his great love, with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, 
Hallelujah. When we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. We can see it and go scripture upon scripture that tells us who we are spiritually in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And where we are at positionally in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So positionally, spiritually, we have been raised with Christ. Now because of that, because of who we are, Hallelujah. The scripture says, since then you have been raised with Christ. Set your heart on things above. So because of who we are, because of who we are, set your minds on things above. Because of who you are, we must develop a heavenly perspective. In the name of Jesus. Because of who we are, we must develop a heavenly perspective. Which means that we are to be a, a continually seeking God. We are to be, a, it's not a one-time thing. Sometimes, you know, it can be easy to, once you first get saved, you're, you have this hunger and you're, and you're seeking. But we're to be in a continual seeking. All throughout our life, seeking in the name of Jesus. The Bible tells us we're to go from one position of glory to the next position of glory. Which means there's always something more. It's to be, to be a continual seeking. Just think about that. One position of glory to another position of glory. God continually unlocking as we seek him through his word. Through prayer. Hallelujah. Through worship. Through active obedience of his word. There's a continual, continual unlocking. A continual elevation of each and every one of us. Hallelujah. He reveals more and more of himself to us. But it means, hallelujah, that we have to be on that continual seek in the name of Jesus. Because of who you are. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. You know, I know there's a saying that we're not to be so heavenly minded that, that we're no earthly good. But my brothers and sisters, in order for us to be earthly good, we must be heavenly minded. You know, God is one that, that he is to be all up in our business. Everything that concerns us in the name of Jesus, whether or not you're on your job, whether or not you're in church, whether or not you're at home, God is to be all up in everything. We cannot and are not supposed to even mentally, hallelujah, call ourselves sitting God down while we go and do something else. Let me, let me put God here while we go and handle this in the name of Jesus because of who we are. As God's children, in the name of Jesus, we must develop, hallelujah, develop a heavenly perspective in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 26, 3 through 4, hallelujah. It says, you will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for in Yah the Lord is everlasting strength in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That means that, that God, that, that, that God, God, hallelujah, anything that concerns us in the name of Jesus, that God will guard and protect everything that concerns us if we trust him enough in the name of Jesus to keep our minds on him. You know, that may sound very uh, uh, counterintuitive, but it's not. Because when we're keeping our minds on God and the things of God, he leads and directs us. He guides us in the name of Jesus in all of our affairs. Hallelujah. In everything. Throughout scripture, we see precept upon precept that tells us what we are to do with our minds. How we are to allow him to regulate. And how we are to allow him to, to, to guide us in the name of Jesus. You can just write these down. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord. With all your heart, lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Hallelujah. It doesn't say in some ways, it says in all your ways, in the name of Jesus. I mean, as soon as you wake up in the morning, acknowledging God. Going into a meeting, acknowledge God. Talking on the phone, acknowledge God. Seek God, pray. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. In a grocery store, when you're dealing with your children, in all your ways, acknowledge God. Hallelujah. I know many have a lot of things going on in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We have a lot of, can have a lot of things going on. But God is to be included in every one of them in the name of Jesus. Psalms 1 verses 1 through 3. I think we, we read this last week. 
What does it say? Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by rivers of water that brings forth fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. That's everything. Hallelujah. Keeping our minds on God, trusting God, trusting God to teach us and show us minute by minute, second by second, how to run our businesses in the name of Jesus. Giving us revelation knowledge on, on, on what to do, the steps and the plans to take. Hallelujah. Everything. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, because of who we are, Philippians 4 and 8 tells us, finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are good report, if there's any virtue, if there's anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. You know, I know that, that, that you can find yourself in situations where you're, you're anxious and, and worried about things. And, and, you know, just the weights of the world can be on your shoulders. But I want to challenge you. I want to encourage you to trust God in his word. Trust in his word. Get into his word. Find scriptures. Meditate on it. You know, the word is it's not just a silent thing. The word meditate, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a pondering, study, memorize. You know, you can sing and, and worship the word of God. Hallelujah. You know, doing that, it helps bring all kinds of things into, into perspective. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, just the fact that we can look throughout the Bible tells us what to do. Hallelujah. Tells us what to do with our minds and where, where to keep it at. It, it, it really indicates just how important it is in the name of Jesus. So because of who you are, develop a heavenly perspective. Continually pursue it. Not just a one-time thing, but it's a continual thing. Hallelujah. One of the things I love about God and his word is that, you know, you see even in, in Joshua, the book of Joshua. Joshua was one who was who was set to lead a a, a, a tribe of, of twelve people that uh, uh, twelve tribes that could be just 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 arrogant and 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 just and just contentious. But even in all of that, God told him what to do to meditate on His Word. So we can't say that we we're too busy or that we have too much going on in the name of Jesus. To set God on the side in the name of Jesus. God's to be again up in everything. Hallelujah. You know, one of the things that that should be, or one of the things that I know hit a lot of people, and that we got, got to just really think about in the name of Jesus, this vaccine mandate, it really hit a lot of people. And it, it really hit those who who were focused on their jobs. They, they have this security, their safety, security, and significance tied up in their jobs. And so you're in these places. I mean, keep hearing these stories about people just feeling, uh, feeling disrespected. You know, I gave them my all. I did all of this. And this is how they treat me. I may lose my job because I did all, I did all of this and I still may lose my job. Hallelujah. Why? Because their safety, their security, and significance was tied up in that job. Not where God calls us to be in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. When we develop our heavenly perspective, we're, we're putting and keeping God, hallelujah, at the forefront. You know, none of these things will take us by surprise. You know, we won't be affected as, as, as devastatingly as some are in the name of Jesus. You know, I found this, this meme on, 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 on the internet. It says, take care of you because if you die today, your job will be posted online before your obituary. Praise the Lord. And we all know that to be true. The point is, it, it, you know, the principle of, of it is that we must take care of ourselves. We have to. We must put ourselves first in the name of Jesus. But in doing that means that we're doing it the way that God called us to. 
That is us cultivating our, our fellowship with God. Us cultivating our, 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 our yes, the, you can't say no better than our fellowship with God. Spending time with God in his word. All those things that we are putting trust in, my brothers and sisters. Those things, those ways, those plans, those, those, those ways of being that, that we thought that we would be able to depend on. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are unstable. Hallelujah. But God is not. So because of who you are, because of the fact that we are the righteousness of God, we are slaves of righteousness, hallelujah. We are children of God. We are the salt of the earth. Because of who we are, hallelujah, develop a heavenly perspective. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, in taking care of ourselves, we have to remember that, that we're responsible for us. And you know, but in thinking about that, remember that we're responsible for, for our own spirit, our own spiritual growth. In the name of Jesus. It's not something that no one can force on us. Hallelujah. It's not something that we can, because he didn't do it, I didn't do it. I'm following him, I'm following her. No, it's our responsibility in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going on to Colossians 3, 5, and 7. If you're still there, we're actually going to read um, all the way down to the 10th verse. But Colossians 3, 5, and 7. It says, put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. Because of these, the wrath of God is coming. You used to walk in these ways. Look at that. I love that. You used to walk in these ways. He's still talking about our past tense in the name of Jesus. You used to walk in these ways in the life you once lived. But now, hallelujah, but now you must rid yourselves of all such, hallelujah, you must rid yourself of all such things as these, anger, rage, malice, slander, and filthy language from your lips. Do not lie to each other since you have taken off your old self. Come on now, we're new creations. Since you have taken off your old self with its practices and have put on the new self which is being renewed in knowledge to the image of its creator. Praise the name of the Lord. When we accept it again, when we accepted Jesus the Christ as our Lord and personal Savior in the name of Jesus. Again, the word tells us, hallelujah, that what's true of Christ is true of us. us all old things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new in the name of Jesus. So again, as the Apostle Paul says, since you have taken off, we took it off when we accepted Jesus the Christ. Because of who we are, hallelujah, do these things in the name of Jesus. What's important to know, hallelujah, hallelujah, that, that, that our actions don't dictate who we are. But who we are is supposed to dictate our actions. Praise the name of the Lord. So because of who you are, do these things in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 There are two main things that, that, that characterize, hallelujah, the, 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 those who live in the world, that sexual immorality and greed. We can really sum them up to those two things, sexual immorality and greed. But again, the Bible tells us where to put those things off. Even when you look at sexual immorality, you think of, of all those who even engage in what, what, what engage in sex outside of marriage, that they're what they're searching for, that, that intimacy. They're searching for, they're searching for acceptance. A lot of them are searching for things that they aren't even going to find outside of doing it God's way in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Being greedy, materialistic, putting all of our, our, of our focus into a getting and, and acquiring in the name of Jesus. There are things that I want to do, things that, that I want in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That, that, that yes, can be greed. And a lot of it is when we're putting it ahead of God. Think about that. It's not to say that that in itself is, but when we're putting it ahead of God. Get rid of these things. In our natural, it's easy. It is easy to, to lie and, and to fudge and to, to have hatred and to seek. That, that's all, all, all indicative of our natural, our old selves in the name of Jesus. 
But again, because of who you are, we must get rid of these things. That is our responsibility in the name of Jesus. And you know, one of the things that you have to just love about God is that he just loves us so much in that not only did he automatically change us positionally, spiritually, but he empowered us to walk in who we are. He gave us the spirit of God, hallelujah, to, so to empower us to walk in who we are. So all those things that he's telling us to, to put away, I tell you, it's not something that we can or even are supposed to do in our own strength. Imagine us, us trying to fight against ourselves. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, I want to tell you this. The key is that we are to let God rule and reign. Choose to let God rule and reign. Choose to believe the truth of the word. Choose to believe the truth of the word. You know, we can say that we have faith. We can say that we believe. But what we do is an indication of our faith. I believe you, oh God. Therefore, I'm going to do what it is that you told me to do. Hallelujah. Faith is confidence in the facts. Confidence in the facts of God in his word. Being confident in him. Confident enough to do it the way that he told us to in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, when we put to death, hallelujah. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 4, 11. You can write that one down. It says, we who live are constantly being delivered over to death for Jesus' sake. That the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to love God and his word. See, he doesn't give us or tell us to do anything that we're not capable of. In his strength, in the name of Jesus. Mind you, we can't just do it by ourselves. But we do it by dying to our own self-rule. And allowing God to rule. Hallelujah. Our own self-rule. And allowing God to rule, that's taking our own interest out of it. And allowing God and his purpose to be manifested in the name of Jesus. It may sound like it could be a, 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 a not so fun path, but I tell you, it's freedom. It's liberty. It's everything that we've always and ever wanted. We can get and obtain by walking in who we are in the name of Jesus. Allowing God to rule in our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Matthew 16, 24. Says if anyone wants you to come after me. Let him follow me. It's a choice. A choice that we make minute by minute. Yeah. Second by second. Yeah. Day by day. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank to choose to follow Christ. Regardless as to how it feels. Regardless as to how it feels. Hallelujah. There's a statement that, that I read recently and it was, are you willing to forsake self-rule and follow him? I was like, ooh, that was just powerful. Are you willing to forsake self-rule and follow him? Yeah. And honestly, my brothers and sisters, when you really look around, when you look around at your life, when you look around at all the things that you once put put value in and how they're dissipating in the name of Jesus, yeah. you can honestly take stock of, did self-rule really benefit me? <laughs> Hallelujah. But I tell you what, doing it God's way, allowing him to rule in the name of Jesus, brings about peace. It brings about, about everything that we need in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just thank you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you and we praise you for your word, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, oh God, in the name of Jesus for strengthening each of us with might and with power through your spirit that is within us, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Just pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that your word, oh God, hallelujah, that you cause it to take root, oh Father, in the name of Jesus. Even in its simplicity, cause it to take root, oh God, in the name of Jesus. 
in the areas in which we do not believe, help us with our unbelief, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to see and believe who we are in you, oh God, so that we can walk and live accordingly, oh God, in the name of Jesus, so we can walk and really fully apprehend all that it is that you have already given us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you continually, oh God, in the name of Jesus, manifest, hallelujah, manifest your glory around us, your children, oh God, everywhere, oh Lord. You know where each of us are in the name of Jesus, whether you're here in person or watching this via video now or later, in the name of Jesus, you know what it is that each and every one of us needs, oh God. I pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, continually manifest your glory. Give us revelation, knowledge of your will with wisdom and understanding, oh Father, in the name of Jesus. And allow it just to propel us, oh God, even more so into you, oh Father. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. Say, because of who I am. Because of who I am. Say, because of who I am. Who I am. Woo, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. If there's anyone out there who has not accepted Jesus, as your Lord and personal Savior. Hallelujah. And would like to in the name of Jesus. Or if there's anyone who, who has but, but stepped away. I encourage you just repeat after me. Repeat this, this, this simple prayer. Hallelujah. Say, Heavenly Father, forgive me of all my sins. I thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for me. I accept you in my life as my Lord and personal Savior. Amen. And if you said that, just know, hallelujah, that you are, hallelujah, automatically a child of God. And that was true of Christ is true of you. I encourage you in the name of Jesus to share what has happened with someone in the name of Jesus. Even if it's a matter of, of sending us an email or going and tell a neighbor or a friend, hallelujah, just share it in the name of Jesus. And I encourage you to, to find, hallelujah, find a, a Bible teaching church. Someone to sit up under and listen and, and, and to get into the word with in the name of Jesus. If it's not one, there's, there's churches everywhere. Just be led by God. Hallelujah. And we just thank you, oh Lord. And we praise you in the name of Jesus for who you are. My brothers and sisters, next Sunday is Communion Sunday. Hallelujah. If you're out there and, and, and you want to join us in partaking of communion and you do not have a, 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 a bread or or, or 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 the juice or you can use anything again it's symbolic but if you desire for us to send you something just drop us an email or or an instant message praise the name of the lord hallelujah thank you for joining us we love you oh god we thank you for bringing forth your healing to those who need it spiritually physically and emotionally in the name of jesus we thank you oh god in jesus mighty name Amen, amen, and amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Moses.